You can't have WrestleMania in Philadelphia without Phil. Did CM Punk just tease that he'll be cleared for WrestleMania 40? CM Punk returned to WWE at the end of 2023 in what was one of the biggest WWE comebacks of all time. It was a return that no one ever in hell, because, well, the shirt said it, hell froze over. One of the biggest returns that nobody ever thought would really ever happen. CM Punk returns to WWE, his first match back, the 2024 Men's Royal Rumble in Tampa. Final two, Cody Rhodes and CM Punk. CM Punk goes down with injury. Now we're on the road to WrestleMania 40, where it was speculated that CM Punk would be in one of the main events. He is not. He is sidelined. But from what we've been seeing on social media, from what we've been seeing on WWE programming, could CM Punk potentially be on his way back way sooner than we expected? In this video, we're talking about the return of CM Punk again to WWE and all the details surrounding the little hints and teases that have been dropped on the on the road to WrestleMania 40. Will CM Punk return to essentially help Cody Rhodes dethrone Roman Reigns? Will CM Punk return to essentially help Seth freaking Rollins retain over Drew McIntyre? So much to unpack. We're talking about it all right now in this video. Welcome back to the channel. As always, I am your host, Joey Carney. And if you are a returning subscriber here to the Angle Podcast YouTube channel, welcome back, as always. Glad you're here. Glad we can, we're can we able to share this time once again, our weekly wrestling chat, and talk about what's going on with CM Punk. Now, if you are a new viewer, a potential new subscriber, hopefully new subscriber, and you're watching me for the first time here on YouTube, I welcome you with open arms, and I hope by the end of this video... I inspire you to punch or uppercut that subscribe button just like CM Punk would. Square in the face. Bad joke. But I hope by the end of this video, you join the family here on YouTube and smash that subscribe button right here on YouTube. Now, the YouTube fam, you know I am a giving man. I'm always doing giveaways in my YouTube videos. And that's not going to change anytime soon, specifically with this video, because if you stay to the end of this video, I'll be giving you all the information you need to know about how to win, how to be able to win to watch for free, that was a mouthful, how you can watch WrestleMania 40 and beyond for free. I'm giving away four free months of Peacock. Stay to the end of the video. I'll give you all the info you need to do, you need, you need to be able to enter takes less than five seconds to do the whole process and you can get four free months of peacock watch wrestlemania i'll be at wrestlemania i don't know if you knew that wwe invited me to cover the event do media attend all the shows so you can watch wrestlemania you can watch me you can watch wwe you can watch all the stuff that's on peacock for free months, stay to the end of the video. I'll give you all the info. I got you. Now, if you're just tuning in, welcome back to the channel. We're talking about CM Punk potentially returning. Well, I mean, he has confirmed that he'll be at WrestleMania, but potentially returning to the ring in time for WrestleMania the Monday after Raw. There's so many things to unpack. So many rumors and speculations and reports and all of the good stuff that us wrestling fans like to dive deep, deep into let's start with one big conspiracy theory right now and that's that cody rhodes has i don't know if he said it but a, a lot apparently a lot of people say that he wants to assemble his own version of the avengers in wwe like all the baby faces the major baby faces that could potentially help him beat roman reigns at wrestlemania 40 if Roman has the bloodline in The Rock. So if you look back at that promo, I'll show you clips throughout the video. But if you look back at that uh, video package that WWE released on Raw regarding CM Punk and his journey back to the ring, CM Punk was wearing was wearing an Avengers shirt. So was that like a tease that potentially... He could be one of the Avengers, one of the baby faces to help Cody 
dethrone Roman because we already know CM Punk doesn't like Roman. He's called him out already since returning to WWE. Uh, but could CM Punk be involved with the Cody Rhodes? I personally don't think that that's the road that they will be going down to WrestleMania. I think that if anything, CM Punk is going to stick to his lane and stay involved and invested with what's going on with Seth freaking Rollins, the World Heavyweight Championship, and the Scottish Warrior, the savior of WrestleMania, according to his new shirt, Drew McIntyre. Uh, Drew McIntyre is on a whole other level. We don't know if he has resigned with WWE. Uh, there was rumors that his his contract was coming up, um, as it was last year after WrestleMania. If you remember correctly, after WrestleMania, he kind of disappeared for a little while. He had signed a contract extension. We don't know if there's a new contract that he has signed, uh, but I would assume that he is staying with WWE or has already signed a new contract. I don't know. I'm not a journalist. I'm not one of the dirt sheets, so I don't know. I'm just going by what I see out there on the wrestling realm. Um, but I mean, I don't think that WWE would put Drew McIntyre in a World Heavyweight Championship storyline at WrestleMania if one, he didn't resign already, but two, that he wasn't going to resign. It would make no sense uh, for him just to, you know, do this storyline and leave. So I would assume he's staying, but I hope he stays because I personally want to see Drew McIntyre win the world championship, beat Seth Rollins, go on and have this huge mega heel run. And then when CM Punk does return, hopefully sometime this year around WrestleMania, hopefully, uh, you get that feud for, with CM Punk and Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight Championship because Drew has been ripping apart and essentially making fun of and poking fun at CM Punk ever since he came back to WWE, but more specifically, after he went down with the injury. Now, if we're staying along the lines of the Seth freaking Rollins versus Drew McIntyre storyline, somewhat involving CM Punk, we know already CM Punk has said it in that video package I've told you already a few times in this video thus far that CM Punk has confirmed that he will be at WrestleMania 40. We don't know if he'll be wrestling. Uh, we don't know if he'll be on commentary for that match. We don't know if CM Punk will be the ring announcer for that match. Highly unlikely. Uh, we don't know if he'll even be the special guest referee. Now... To dive a little deeper into this, uh, I said it in a previous video. You can see that video somewhere here. You can watch that after. Uh, where I talked about Jay Uso versus Jimmy Uso happening at WrestleMania. How Philly is the city of brotherly love. So why not do a tribal combat match or a Philly street fight? Have a special guest referee like Rikishi, the father of the Usos. I'm kind of saying the same thing here with Seth Rollins versus Drew McIntyre. Not that it needs anything else because the storyline has been fantastic. But if they were to involve CM Punk, I wouldn't mind him being the special guest referee because he doesn't like Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins doesn't like him. He doesn't like Drew McIntyre and Drew McIntyre doesn't like him. So this is like a three-way triangle that nobody likes each other. So if Punk was to count three for Drew McIntyre to win the title... It would make sense. It's not a heel turn. If CM Punk were to count the one, two, three for Seth Rollins to re uh, retain the World Heavyweight Championship, it wouldn't be a heel. There's no way that they can make CM Punk look bad in this position, is what I'm saying. So if they do go the special guest referee route, it would make sense. Um, but then also, with 2K24, WWE 2K24 now being out, them uh, bringing back a very uh fun and fan favorite match type special guest referee wouldn't it make sense to utilize that match type in real time to promote 2k24 i mean that's just me going off the top of my head here uh you know it would be a great way to promote the game and the new features and the new match types that are in the game um but again cm punk uh, uh, seth rollins versus drew mcintyre doesn't necessarily need a special guest referee i have to give credit to wwe and triple h because if you look at the wrestlemania card thus far a lot of the matches feel like first off they're strong long-term stories right 
Second off, there's really no gimmicks. There's really no uh, multi-man yada 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 that we normally get to just fill everybody onto the card. They're very specific matches that feel classic. Like, I feel like this is a classic WrestleMania that we're going into. You know, a match between Rhea Ripley and Becky Lynch. That's a classic. Drew McIntyre versus Seth. A classic. EO Sky versus Bailey. A classic. I mean, Cody and Roman. Another like This whole card just feels like it could be the best and biggest WrestleMania of all time. And before we keep getting even more sidetracked than we already are here. Uh, in this video, we're talking about CM Punk, his road back to WWE, his road to WrestleMania 40, if there is even a road, if he's following the yellow brick WWE road to WrestleMania 40, he says he's going to be there in what capacity? We don't know. Could it be a special guest referee? Hell yeah, it could, and it'd be fantastic. Could it be a special commentator for the World Heavyweight Championship match? Hell yeah, because CM Punk can talk, talk, and talk. It's one of his best attributes he's a yap it yap 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 he can do it all day long and he's great at it uh what else can he do you know we talked about being involved with the cody Rhodes stuff cody wanting to assemble the avengers and cm punk being a mega baby face he could do that there's so many things he could do uh he could also be the host of wrestlemania 40. he already said in that video package that wrestlemania is in philadelphia the four letters that start that word are Phil. His name is Phil. You can't have Philadelphia. You can't have WrestleMania in Philadelphia without Phil. So could it be that CM Punk will be the host of WrestleMania 40? I mean, there it could have just be a, a, a short run-in where CM Punk runs in and hits a GTS on Seth or hits a GTS on Drew McIntyre. Anything... Honestly, I'll take, I'll take, I'm okay with any of it because I think it'll be entertaining. I think it'll really be, uh, we're at a good place with WrestleMania, like I said. So any addition would be a great addition. It's not like overdoing it right now. So I'm okay with it. Uh, but I think that anything with CM Punk at WrestleMania will be fantastic because CM Punk hasn't been at WrestleMania. I mean, when was the last time he was at WrestleMania, 10 years ago. He was supposed to be at WrestleMania 30. He was supposed to face Triple H, I believe. That's when he left. So, he hasn't been at WrestleMania since WrestleMania 29. I mean, CM Punk at WrestleMania is huge in itself. Whatever role he has, I'm ready for it. If you're following him on social media, he looks like he's well far along in his journey back. He's... he's doing things in the gym and you know kudos again to him but also charlotte flair who's clanging and banging in the gym trying to get back sidetracked this entire video i apologize but cm punk whatever he does at wrestlemania will be entertaining as hell it'll be controversial <laughs> and it will be fun because at the end of the day wwe and pro wrestling at the moment is the most fun it's been in a very long time. So there you have it. There's a few different options for CM Punk to somewhat get involved at WrestleMania. If you have any, any other ideas for what you think CM Punk can do at WrestleMania 40, drop them in the comments below. I want to read your thoughts. I want to engage with you. And I want to see what other roles CM Punk could potentially have if I didn't cover it in this video for him at WrestleMania 40. Now, you're at the end of the video. You did it. You're here. You got through my yapping. All the information for the giveaway starts right now. So, my giveaway. Four free months of WWE Peacock. Or four free months of Peacock to watch WWE content. And all the other stuff. You can watch WrestleMania 40. I'll be there the whole week in Philly. And at the event itself. Uh, so you can watch along what we see live there. And, uh... Four free months allows you to watch WrestleMania, Backlash. I, I mean, there's so many other pay-per-views coming up, plus all the other content on Peacock. You got The Office. I just watched a phenomenal show, um, Apples Never Fall. I mean, I was on the edge of my seat. I was up till like 2 a.m. 
finishing the show because I couldn't turn it off. Peacock has got all the best shows, honestly. It's like my favorite my favorite streaming platform, I think, at the moment. And you can have it for free, four free months. In the link, uh, in the description down below, there is a link. Click that link. It'll bring you to my website where you can uh, input your information, your name and your email. It takes under four seconds. Under four seconds for four free months of Peacock. Get your information in there, get submitted, await your name to be called. I'll be doing the Ralph, uh, I'll be doing the drawing the next couple of weeks. And uh, it's pretty simple. I talk about it in every video, essentially, how to get it. Um, but yeah, four free months, I think it's a bargain because in four months, you get so much WWE content, but also the other stuff, like I said, The Office, all the other shows, movies, they're, they're constantly updating Peacock. Great place to be, my favorite streaming platform at the moment. Four free months, down below, get in and get your name chosen. Now I wanna thank you for tuning in for another episode, watching another video. If you're either watching on YouTube or if you're listening on all the streaming podcast platforms because I am everywhere. My yapping goes far and beyond what you are seeing right now. I'm on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, uh, Spotify. We're on Amazon. You can tell I'm not going to say her name because she will listen, but it's A L E X A. You can say her name and ask to listen to the Angle Podcast. You'll get the latest episode. I'm everywhere, baby. You can listen to me, watch me anywhere. All the all the great content right here in the Angle Podcast. But if you're watching on YouTube, I hope now that well, if you are a returning subscriber, you like the video, you comment down below, and you tell a friend, hey. This is the wrestling channel you need to watch because it's one, the most entertaining, two, it's the most engaging, but three, you get all the information you need going into the biggest event of the year, our Super Bowl WrestleMania 40. Now, if you are a new subscriber and you're watching me for the first time, I hope that I didn't deteriorate away by my high energy and yapping that goes at 100 miles per hour. I hope that by this point, well, one, you're going to submit your info for the giveaway to get four free months of Peacock. But realistically, I hope that you smash that subscribe button down below like the tribal chief Roman Reigns would. Get involved with all the stuff that I have going on the channel. Watch more content. Binge more content. Because after this video, there are so many other videos. You can check out my Road to WrestleMania 40 playlist that, has give, that will give you all the videos that I have created here on YouTube, going into the biggest event of the year, whether it's talking about Jay versus Jimmy at WrestleMania, what The Rock uh, will do at WrestleMania, what Roman and Cody and Gunther and what happens to Brock Lesnar, all the good stuff leading into the biggest event of the, uh, of the year, WrestleMania. Check out the Wrestle Road to WrestleMania 40 playlist. Binge more content here. I don't know what you're still doing here. I'm yapping away. You don't have to be here because go Watch another video. Go binge more. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.